Lois. What can I do to help you? Here you go. Oh, thanks. This all feels like a dream to me, you know. A few days ago, I was a happily married woman in business with my very best girlfriend in the whole world. And now she's in a hospital room fighting for her life. And my rock-solid marriage is on rocks. Now, I always thought change was a good thing. But now I think I hate it. Well, except things can change again for the better. You're right. Brenda's going to pull through this. She's not so sure about me and that. Well, you really think your problem is that serious? Yeah. I do. We just keep going round and round and round, and we never wind up the same place, you know? I mean, I don't... I don't know who I've been living with for the past year. It's obviously a stranger. And I can't believe that I am pouring my heart out about my marital problem to a guy who has been waiting and waiting to make a move on me. Well, up until about a week ago, that was true. Now, sometimes it takes a while for uh, things I don't want to hear to penetrate my thick skull, but I finally got the message. You're deeply in love with your husband. And you wouldn't be so distraught otherwise. You're right. Furious with Ned, but I'm also madly in love with him. Well, then you uh, better start putting things back together, or I might change my mind and make a move on you after all. <laughs> I appreciate the advice, Jack. But you want to know what? What? I don't think you were ever that serious about me to begin with. You know? Oh, I think that I was a diversion. A little bit of a challenge, you know. Oh, admit it. No, you like the idea of dismantling my marriage the way you dismantle corporations just to prove you can. Um, I'm sure there's some truth to that. Mm -hmm. But don't sell yourself short. Oh, I don't. Yeah. But even if you were serious, I think there's another reason why you don't mind giving up on me now. Oh, and that is? What changed in that week you mentioned? I don't know. Obviously, you have a theory about that. I do. Uh-huh. And I think the big change in your life is Brenda. Yeah, Dell, it's me. Listen, uh, I won't be able to make that meeting in Sydney. I give them my apologies and uh, set up a phone conference at a mutually convenient time. No, I'll be uh, staying on in Port Charles. Indefinitely. Right. Take care. 